If you've ever been to Barcelona and seen a statue of a girl holding an X-shaped cross, that's going to be Santa Laulia, the patron saint of Barcelona. She's also buried in the crypt of the cathedral, which is named after her, and there's 13 white geese inside of the cathedral's cloister that are going to be dedicated to her tortures. Her story is a popular one to be told on tours throughout the Gothic Quarter, but today we're going to go a little bit deeper. According to legend, Santa Laulia was a 13-year-old girl who lived in Sarria, just outside of the city, in the 4th century at a time when the Roman Emperor Diocletian was trying to persecute Christianity throughout the empire. The governor at the time in Barcelona, Daciano, was in charge of taking care of all of those punishments. And when Santa Laulia stood up for the Christian faith, she was going to be punished with 13 different tortures. Now the name Eulalia can be translated to gifted speaker, and she must have said some pretty powerful things because an example was made for her, and she was given 13 tortures with the idea being that she was going to give up her religion as a result. You'll see it's her strength when torture after torture didn't work that has made her such an important figure in Barcelona today. Because she was 13 years old, she was given 13 different tortures, thinking that that was going to make her give up her religion, and the first of those tortures was being put in jail to make her think about what she had done. Now, obviously, that didn't work, and the second torture that she was going to receive was being whipped through the streets. After that, her flesh was ripped off with different hooks, and then she was made to walk on hot coals. Seeing that that wasn't working, her breasts were burned and cut off, rocks were rubbed into her wound, she was burned with oil, she had hot lead thrown on her, and then finally she had calcium oxide poured on her body. And when that didn't work, she was put into a barrel with knives, glass, nails, all sorts of different sharp objects, and rolled down a hill 13 separate times. This has by far become her most famous torture, and the spot where this all happened, known as La Bachada de Santa Elaudia, is still marked today with a small figure dedicated to her, or a poem, and the name of the street even being named after her. Now, after 13 barrel rolls down a hill, she's said to have come out fine. Maybe not having the best day, but alive. This is when the Romans decide to throw her in a pen full of fleas. After 11 tortures, Santa Elaudia has still not given up on her religion, and this is when the Romans decide to parade her around the city naked. You can insert your own out-of-date Game of Thrones joke here. When none of these other tortures work, Daciano can't take it anymore, and this is when he decides on the 13th and final torture, he crucifies Santa Laulia on an X-shaped cross, naked again to further humiliate her. Now this is when it's a real miracle. It snows in Barcelona and covers her entire body, saving her from that humiliation. In some versions of the story, she loses her head, but either way, at the moment of her death, a white dove flies out of her body, and this is representing her soul coming out, the last miracle that she's going to give to the people. And this is why today in the cathedral, you have 13 white geese at all times in that cloister. And that's also why in all of the statues around the city that you see Santa Laulia, this is where you're gonna see that X-shaped cross. But the legend doesn't end there because in that distraction of her soul escaping her body, it said that she was taken and she was buried in secret and nobody knew where her body was until it was found in what today is Santa Maria del Mar, the church that used to be there before, in 878. But today her body is buried in the crypt of the Cathedral of Barcelona. And it wasn't going to be until the 14th century that her body was moved from that original resting place to the place that's named after her today. That's right, the Cathedral of Barcelona is also known as the Cathedral of the Holy Cross and the Cathedral of Santa Eulalia. But if her body was buried in what is Santa Maria del Mar today, it needed to get into the old city to get into the cathedral. And to do so, it needed to pass through the gates. And one of the closest gates to Santa Maria del Mar is what is today known as the Plaza del Angel, the Square of the Angel. And it's here where you have one of the best stories surrounding Santa Laulia. And if you know anything about me, I'm always in for a good legend. Legend has it that while they were carrying her coffin into the old part of the city, right in that Plaza del Angel, it became too heavy. Nobody could move it anymore. And the entire procession decided to get down on one knee and pray. And just as they went down on one knee, an angel appeared and it singled out a priest. It pointed right at a priest who confessed to his crime. He had taken the finger of Santa Laulia and wanted to keep it as a relic or some sort of treasure for himself. When he put the finger back where it belonged, miraculously the coffin was able to be lifted up again and they were able to carry Santa Laulia into the cathedral where she's buried today. If you do go to that plaza today, what you'll see is a statue of an angel commemorating that legend. It's still pointing right at that priest, but it's actually also pointing down towards Santa Maria del Mar. Now, like I said, she is buried in the cathedral, and if you do make a visit to the cathedral, you can get down into the crypt to see the coffin where she was buried. It's not recommended to open up the coffin. They say that the last person that tried to do it went blind when he saw her body, so I wouldn't recommend that but I definitely would recommend getting into the cathedral, seeing everything that we've been talking about, and especially those 13 white geese. Now, if you made it to this part of the video, like I told you before, I'm always in for a good legend, but I feel like I owe you a little bit of truth. 
Nobody really knows if Santa Eulalia actually existed in Barcelona or not, and some people even think that she was copied off of the saint of the same name with a very similar story that happened in Merida. But that's not the important part. Now you know the history of the legend surrounding Santa Eulalia and why we celebrate her in Barcelona every February 12th. So the next time that you're here, if you see a statue of a girl with an X-shaped cross, you'll know exactly what that means. And if you do make it into the cathedral and see those 13 white geese, you'll know the story behind them as well. Let me know with a comment below if while you were in Barcelona you heard any other versions of the legend of Santa Laulia. And if you liked the video or it gave you any sort of value, remember to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe so that we can continue to discover Barcelona together. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.